Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Cthulhu's. In our last episode, we finally had a uh, dwarven son, Emeraldus. Um, and I have a few more ideas for names. Uh, namely, one being Lord Agony. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Uh, I've just been looking for the right opportunity. And I think our next child, next heir, would be... Uh, should be named after Lord, Ag Lord Agony. So it's going to be King Lord Agony. <laughs> the King Lord. Is he a Lord of Kings or is he a King of Lords? Who knows? Who knows? Conry MacGabe. Huh. Look at that. Conry. Uh, if only you were both quick and a leprechaun. But sadly, you will just remain as Conry. We'll acknowledge you. We'll acknowledge you, as always, but you'll remain Conry Mac... Wh whatever. For some time now, my half-sister, Melisende, or Melisend? I don't know. My half-sister has been avoiding me. She has not visited my bedchamber for several weeks. When I've demanded to know why, she has given me nothing but feeble excuses. Today, I overheard a couple of her servants gossiping. They say she has contracted syphilis. Oh, snap. She got the sy 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 syphilis. Hmm. I... I guess let's try to give her good care. I don't really want to contract syphilis, but at this point, since we've already had, um, Emeraldus and he appears to be not sickly, I think we're gonna be okay. So let's just try to be kindly to her. We didn't get the kind trait, but um, maybe she ended up with some good care, perhaps? I have no idea. Oh well. But in the meantime, let's see if we can maybe improve some of our places here. Castle Town. Still need a little bit more money. It's starting to flow, actually. Oh, damn! Pluton MacGabe? Oh, I had him with Eleonora. Fantastic! We have an inbred son, an inbred leprechaun. We will name you. You're going to be a backup. It's going to be the same situation as we had with uh, the previous Gabe Ferguson before this Gabe Ferguson. So you're going to be a backup. You're going to be Lord Agony. There we go. In case something happens to um to Emeraldus, you know you're going to be our little backup here, Lord Agony, Mac Gabe. Fantastic. All right, let's acknowledge him as mine. We can uh, legitimize him in the future if we need to. But I'm sure my wife is probably plotting my death. There's no way she's happy with me at all. Nope. I mean, she's attracted to me because I'm a you know aspiring seducer. Uh, sed seducer? I'm a sed sed seducer. That's actually quite fitting. I'm a douche. That's um, seducing. I'm an aspiring seducer. Alright, so we can blackmail one of our vassals. Let's just obligate him. I don't think we need to go so far as blackmailing him. He might like me, dislike me a little bit, but that's okay. Oh, he's got lover's pox. Oof. Damn. Oh, more technology. Fantastic. I suppose it's cultural advances now. So let's go with legalism. And we can change our inheritance laws now, I think. Yeah, I think we can even go with, like, ultimogeniture if we need to. Or should we go with primogeniture? I think ultimogeniture might be a little better. Because that way, you know, if we need to, we can get a divorce or whatever and... Oh no. The mother of my heir is dead. Oh well. We got some buildings being constructed. Fantastic. So let's see if we can actually improve our castle town here. Nice. Chancellor, I'm uh, pretty disappointed in your performance so far. We imported you from Germany and here you are, not able to do a damn thing. And you know what? I'm even I'm even letting you plot against your wife. And so far I have seen nothing. Seen nothing at all. To, uh, okay, what is this? You want my half-sister to be betrothed 
to Hans. And that'll result in a non-aggression pact with, um... Wait, yeah. That'll result in a non-aggression pact with, uh, Sweden. You know what? Sure, let's go for it. Bam. Sweden. And we will, in fact, form an alliance. And if you call us into a war, we will, of course, accept. Not that we'll do anything. Title Revocation Committee Law. Oh, you son of a bitch. Fuck. Okay. I gotta find out what, um... What these guys are gonna say. Obviously, a lot of people are gonna say no. Okay. Let's... Let's... See if we can maybe call in some favors. So I think... Okay, shit. Hey, man. Uh, maybe... Call in some favors. Hey, buddy. And, uh... Hey, mother. Call some support. Yeah? Come on. Oh, you immediately call us into a war. Yeah, sure, we'll accept. Yeah, we'll, we'll help you against... Kazaria and the rest of the world? Sure. Mateus has voted against it. Great. Fantastic. And who else is going to vote against it? Mother? Ah, yes. There we go. And they are currently voting against it. And they will vote no? Yes? Vote no? Can I tell you to vote no? I can take you... Command you to... To... Take the vows, but... I guess she automatically votes no? Nice. You punk bitch! Can I... Get another thing going immediately, or do I have to wait? No, I can just wait one year. Aha. Uh -huh. We might actually be able to get another law passed... Soon. And Sweden lost. What a shame. What a darn tootin' sh shames. I can't- I can't talk today. Uh, I think we can invest in economy advances. I say let's go with... Um, hmm. I think we might want to go with castle infrastructure. Don't know if that's going to help too much. But let's just go for it anyways. Alright. Now can we upgrade some uh, city walls and... Shit, or castle walls? No? Alright, fine. We'll instead go for stables, I guess. Hmm, that place is already fairly well... ...evolved. One evening at court, your mother is talking... It takes to voicing a very aggressive criticism of your wife in front of everyone. She says your wife doesn't know her place and she'd be kept on a tighter leash. Your wife looks pleading you at you for support. Um... Hmm. I mean, my wife hates me. As is. There's no way she's gonna like... My wife is older than my mother. Yet, she looks like a thousand years younger. Holy shit. You know what? We're gonna side with our mother on this. Because there's no way I can do anything to make my wife happy. So, um... Lost cause? <laughs> uh, oh well. And yeah, we actually do seem to be making a fair bit of money here, which is awesome. And what happened? Who died? Why do I care? Was she my lover at one point? I don't think so. No? I don't think I have any relation to you whatsoever. Oh! She's the daughter of my wife. Aha. And we have Herbert. Fantastic. Herbert, the son of myself and uh, my other half-sister. Who has syphilis. I don't think I have syphilis. Great. Herbert? You are... Hmm. <laughs> I don't want this to get confusing. We'll just keep you as Herbert for now. Yeah. <laughs> or Putin? Random ancestor. No valid ancestor. Uh Philippe? No 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 no. Um you are mm, 
shit. If only I knew how to spell Tyrion properly. I'm not gonna try, I'm not gonna embarrass myself by misspelling uh, the name Tyrion, so we'll acknowledge him. And we're just gonna name him Orson, that's okay. Chancellor. What the hell, man? Look, my truce with this guy has almost expired. That's how long it's been taking you to, like, fabricate a claim. And you haven't even succeeded yet, man! What the hell, Matthias? 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 I guess it's Matthias, since it's not, uh, Swedish. Otherwise, it would be Matthias. Anyways, um... What do we want to improve here? Let's... I guess... Wait, what? Okay, this is uh, a few more things. We can probably build a barracks here, I'm thinking? Yeah, sure, whatever. And then next we'll build a militia training grounds over here. Yeah, that should be good. Can this place upgrade the castle walls yet? No, not quite. Castle town has been finished in our capital. Lovely. Which means we can probably upgrade- Ah, truces are expiring! Can I please get a notification that the truces have expired, or... Is that not- not a thing? When does it actually expire, by the way? Six days left. Okay, so in six- two days. No notification whatsoever as to whether or not the truce has expired. It just... Glazes over it. Anyone know if I can set a notification? For, um, truces expiring? Probably not. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm gonna go for a de jure claim against this son of a bitch. And we should be able to win quite easily. You don't have any alliances, do you, buddy? No, he's got some non-aggression packs, but, uh, no alliances. Cool, cool, cool. Boom. Actually, do people... Okay, they don't like me because I decrease council power and because they're not on the council. But beyond that, no real dis reason to dislike me. We don't even need to raise vassal armies. Aw, oh, shit, burglar. Oh, we might actually win. Whoa. Whoa. Nice little turn of events here. Fantastic. Otherwise, um, I suppose I should probably designate a regent? Hmm. Normally, it would be my wife or someone, but um, I don't think that's a good idea considering how much my wife hates me. Are you... So you are, in fact, leading the siege, right? Great, and this guy's uh, just following them. <laughs> I don't even know what the uh, neutral army was doing there. I'm assuming it was probably one of my vassals, maybe? Aha! Hans has come of age. You look like an utter... What? Holy crap. My god. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm having dinner and plenty of drinks with the Countess Caitlin of... Tonight. It's lovely, yet I, what I'm most charmed by is Caitlin herself. Why else would I not immediately stop our conversation, which has slowly begun to touch upon the... Uh, uh, touch upon some almost heretical ideas. Questioning the salvation of God. Hmm... I don't know, Caitlyn. I don't know if I want to go, uh, Satanist. No, it might not be a good idea. Yeah, especially what with the recent developments. I mean, if... Emeraldus was older... I might risk it? <sighs> I mean, we're, we're young enough. And Emeraldus is... Uh, he's decently old, you know. Might not be the worst idea in the world to... Go all satanic and shit. Hmm. M maybe we'll just use our powers sparingly. But I would really rather prefer to go, um, Hermetic Society, which means I need to raise my learning a little bit. Uh, we should not speak of this, Caitlin. No, no, no. And let's actually change our focus to scholarship. There we go. Now we should be able to join the Hermetic Society, I believe. Can I not? Oh, there we go. Let's join the society. Greetings, King Gabe Ferguson. We are delighted to learn that you have taken your step, first step forward towards enlightenment. The secrets of the corpus may be obscure to you now, but in time you may come to understand them as I have. Hold in thy mind all thou wouldst know, and Hermes, the thrice blessed, will teach thee. Signed, 
Migus, Magus, Magus, Indolf, the blind, with the disgusting eye holes. Good grief, man. Get some double eye patches or something. What is this, Fintan? What is your major malfunction, you stupid sack of shit? You know what? Uncle? Are you on my side? He's still on my side. And actually, ah, this would be a good time to get this, uh, get one of these passed. Alright, so let's go with Banishment. And we would have all the support that we need. Fantastic. Hell yeah. Double whammy. Oh man. We've had a lot of... Leprechaun children as of late. Oh, well, it's because we're having a lot of lep uh, children with our half-sister. Right. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Putin. No, let's just get a random name. Um. Fergal. There you go. We'll acknowledge him. Hopefully, we won't ever have to um, get Fergal to be our ruler because he's got a random name. You know, it's not the best, but oh well. My brother in the Hermetic Order, Radelgar, has stepped forth with an idea for a ritual that might invoke invoke the presence of a divine being. The prospect of petitioning the divine itself for knowledge is tantalizing, and the idea was therefore received with excitement with the order or in the order. The ritual will take place in a few weeks' time. All right, the secrets of the world shall be laid bare to us. Fantastic. And in the meantime, we have built our barracks. Lovely. Garton? Why do you only have six troops? Oh, right, because we raised our levy. Got it. Let's go with the militia training ground. But in the meantime, let's also maybe write a theorem paper. I don't know if we're capable of doing that, considering how low our, in or, um, our learning is. Aha. Uh -huh. I face the daunting task of researching and writing an entire theorem paper to be reviewed by many, uh, by my peers. To have it be accepted by the order would be a great boon to me, but if the quality is found to be lacking, it might be a big blow to my prestige. Hmm. A fair bit of money. I should have actually kept my money. Crap. Um. Hmm. Surely nobody would notice if I copied from some other works? Let's try that. Let's be all sneaky and shit. To Neophytes Gabe Ferguson. Initiate Rodoald is a greedy, slothful idiot who deserves none of the riches of it in his possession. What say you, brother? Shall we raid his laboratory and claim that which should be ours? Let's do it. Bam. Didn't this go poorly in our last um last attempt? I think it might might have gone poorly. I forget. But what can we do to raid his shit? Do I do it? Is it something that I do actively? Oh, okay, no. It was not hard to locate initiate Rodowald's la laboratory. Boson tells me as we enter the castle. While old Rodowald has no talent for keeping secrets, he does know how to hire proper guards, he continues, telling me about the obstacle ahead. Um. Oh. 40% chance to fail. Oh my god. Okay, you distract them, I'll enter the laboratory. Oh man, this could go poorly. In the meantime, we're summoning the Divine. Fantastic. With someone named. Radelgar the Cruel, the Duke of Pisa. Summoning the Divine. The time for the ritual has come, and your order has congregated in the spacious room. Symbols scatter the floor as you chant your hymns. Neophyte Radelgar has provided you with an all new provided you all with a new special type of incense that he claims is necessary to make the eventual connection with the divine being. Before long it has permeated the air, and as you inhale more and more of it, Hearing the drone of your fellow's chants, you feel your soul disconnect from your body and begin to ascend. Until it seems to connect with something, an entity touches your soul. Though you cannot perceive it with any senses other than your mind's eye, it must be the divine being. You have succeeded. 
You struggle to control your emotions and to coalesce all your thoughts into one burning question that you pose to this being. Mm. Hmm. Oh divine, pray tell me of the operation of the sun. I had my doubts, but color me impressed. Boson managed to lure the guards away by setting off an alchemical reaction producing the foulest of order odors. While the th trick was effective, to say the least, I do not know how much time I have. I need to focus. What should I do next? Hmm. Let's try to uh, steal the rarest ingredients in the most secret tomes. Okay, I have no idea if this is going to go well. The divine being has given me cryptic advice on the pursuit of alchemy in its many forms. But with ample time spent mulling it over afterwards, I believe I have deciphered what it meant. I look forward to putting it to good use. The divine being has my total confidence. Ah, shit. Really? That lowers my stewardship for five years? Unbelievable. What the shit? For all his talk and boasting, I expected more than this. Or perhaps Initiate Rodewald is more paranoid than I thought. In any case, I cannot find anything of great value. At least these nuggets of metal will sell for a few coins. 10 gold and 200 esoteric knowledge. Great, and we have a dangerous faction. Or did we already have this from before? I'm assuming we already had this from before. Alright, domain too big. And a whole bunch of crap. Once we have left the laboratory far behind us, Boson and I collapse two bundles of sweaty and shivering limbs. Okay, that sounds a little too sexual. We did it. We really did it. And we got away with it, too. As the laugh erupts from our lips, my body finally relaxes. Next to me, Boson, breathing heavy, turns into a merry chuckle. We really showed him, didn't we? So we get to be buddies with him? I guess? And we burned some dude's freaking laboratory and we gained esoteric knowledge for it? Seems a little harsh, but eh, whatever. Right, you sack of shit. I can't revoke your crap. Got it. Well, he does hate me though, so... Maybe I can catch him plotting something and then uh, throw him in the prison, maybe? Possibly? Or do I want to kill him? Nah, I don't think we can. That's okay. After months of fights, arguments, and tears, my spouse suggests separate bedchambers. Let us rekindle our love! Martha Stewart. It is finished! I've produced an excellent paper on the moon. It explores astrology and in particular the movement and importance of this heavenly body. Now all that is left is to submit it to my hermetic peers for review. I will send it out at once. Fantastic. Having spent ample time considering your papal's worth, I've decided to endorse your work. Thank you. Oh, thank you. The nosy Leophyte Al Alboin has somehow discovered that I borrowed elements from other authors. Oh, he's already spread the spread the word. No, shit, not good enough. Well, this guy still seems to think that I'm good, and he's like the leader of the Hermetic Order. So I don't know what you guys are complaining about, you bastards. Okay, our domain's too big. We can actually get rid of one of these, but I mean. In a few years, our uh, stewardship will get back to normal, so we don't necessarily need to. Let's have you be all diplomatic and shit. What for? I have no idea. Can we actually go to war against her? We can claim it for... This guy? Um... I guess, I mean... If we claim it for him, he might like us more. Oof. Hmm. Not sure I like that. I mean, it would be a way of, um, doing something, right? But, ugh. Man. Yeah, so far no luck with the, uh, claiming of, um, or fabricating of claims, which is... What the f fuck? Okay, great. Fantastic. Um, Gabe Ferguson died out of nowhere. What the fuck? Died of poor health? From what? What, what poor health? 
He just straight up croaked. What the fuck? Oh my god, another Regency? Ah, that is garbage. Absolute garbage. Eh, fine, whatever. Hey, Mateus. Go back to doing what you're doing, buddy boy. Fabricating claims. Let's have you go into... Go back to Surrey. Marshall? Mm, I'm not gonna get this guy as my Marshall. He doesn't like me. And besides, he's envious, so I'm pretty sure he's never gonna like me. We'll get this guy to be our Marshal. Go ahead, train troops. Spymaster? Let's get someone who at least likes me a little bit to be our Spymaster. Or Mayor Dude. And you can scheme, because I don't want people plotting against me and shit. And we'll continue, continue to employ Riku as our, um... As our court chaplain. That's really unfortunate. That really sucks. Wasn't expecting to die there. Can set crown focus. So yeah, let's just keep this as our um, thing for the time being. But we also need an advisor. We can actually make this guy our advisor. He still wouldn't really like me, but... Mm, sure. We'll take you on. And he likes me slightly. He doesn't hate me as much, at the very least. And great, Riku, thank you. You have appeased the Pope in my name. And my half-sister, my future lover. Why don't we make you all... Hmm. I guess, I don't know, duty and all that stuff. Dangerous faction, oof. can still imprison Mateus, but nah. Food is on my plate, but steam is coming out of it. I wonder if it's safe to eat. I could gain fussy. Uh, what? Oh, my... This person is looking at me? Because he's my... Wait. Why is this guy my educator? Can I get another educator? Someone who's preferably, you know, like really intrigue heavy? Like Mateus over here? Mateus? Can you please educate me? Thanks, Mateus. Um, I think... Is Fussy a good thing to have? For entry characters? I forget. I cannot remember for the life of me. Ah, uh, shit. I think Playful and Fussy are good things. So... Sure, let's let's go with Fussy. Cocked seems, seemed angry with me and told me to wait until... Why is an 11-year-old teaching me? Why is she my educator? Apparently, the 11-year-old told me to wait until the food's temperature was just right. Okay, but now some of it's too cold, so I'll be fussy. Yeah, she's straight up educating me. What the fuck? <laughs> I gotta say, it's a, more than a little strange. Ah, good job, Seward. Fantastic. But, um, bad job, Chancellor. Although you are my guardian, so I'm hoping for good things from you. Look at your intrigue, holy crap. What the hell? My vassal lost his engraved sword? What? Oh, this guy's dead! Oh, thank god, finally! Holy shit, he was an absolute jerk. Hmm. Which one of you has more military power? This guy. This guy, really? Oh, he wants the duchy and shit. Huh. Alright, fine. We'll go with, um... This dude, I think. He's probably the stronger one of the few. And which duchy did you want exactly? This one? Ugh. I mean, I suppose I could give it away. It's not that big of a deal that I'm holding on to it. It's giving me a fair bit of money. So maybe I'll hold on to it for the time being. No, Riku. Riku is dead. Can we hire someone from outside of the realm, maybe? Someone who's uh, pretty, pretty cool with the with the Pope. Hey, buddy. Want to uh, come over to my court? 
and be my primary suck up dude for the Pope. That'll be you, Guillaume. You Frenchman. Let's send you over to the Roma. To the Roma? To Rome. And you're my regent, and I'm actually okay with that, considering that you're also my, um, my, uh, guardian and all that stuff. And we also have to recruit a court physician. Fantastic. Right, let's just get a new doctor and then end the episode off there. Your scouts report of a one-eyed man that recently arrived in Uled. The man, referred to as Morik the Wise by the commoners, is apparently blessed with immense wisdom that he uses to both impress and help whenever he passes by. By offering a significant sum of gold to this man, he would be your willing or he'd be willing to cease his wandering and take up residence in your court. You know what? A good doctor is worth that money. Fantastic. Although he's arbitrary, so that's a little bit of a no-no, but that's okay. Right, well we'll we're gonna have to end the episode off here. It's a shame that our Chancellor, despite being one of the better ones in the entire known world, appears to be having some issues uh, fabricating claims. So we might actually uh, spring for a new one over here. Yeah, let's uh, let's go with Francois. Let's turn him into our chancellor. Although he's not gonna like that I fired him and shit. So maybe, maybe we hold off on it and give him um, another chance or so. I don't know. We'll see. All right. For now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.